Tensions build at Lukoil's petrol stations in Belgium as Ukrainian protesters demand a boycott of the company for its connections to the Kremlin. They claim it's financing the war in Ukraine. I've always put petrol in my car here. She just told me that I finance war. For me, I don't finance war. I just put petrol in my car. The privately owned petrol company is the second largest in Russia and operates in the Benelux region through its 260 stations as independent local entities. Despite not being included in the EU sanctions, its former CEO in Russia, Vajit Alekparov, resigned after being sanctioned by the West. The NGO Promote Ukraine found connections between Luke Oil Belgium and its headquarters in Moscow. All Luke Oil petrol stations in Belgium, they work under franchise agreement. And under this agreement, the petrol station's entrepreneurs have to pay royalty for using the Luke Oil brand. And those royalties, at the end, go to Russia. But Luke Oil rejects these claims. In March, its board of directors called for the soonest termination of what they called armed conflict. We are acting here as a local company with independent people. We supply jobs for those local people. We pay taxes here. Um, and yeah, we, we supply a job for thousand people here. Uh, as you know that uh, oil is coming from Russia, which is also the case with other fuel stations. Uh, it doesn't matter where you fill up, you always can have some uh, Russian fuel in the mix. Luke Oil, as well as other petrol stations in the EU, have already started looking for alternatives to Russian fuel. In a few months, European sanctions will come into effect, banning the purchase of Russian oil. Krista Pitches Euronews, Brussels.